Mrs B's Arts and Crafts. Today we're going to make a tidy for all of your pens using some paper rolls, a bit of paint and some card. So let's get on with it. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a piece of A4 card, any colour, it can be plain, um, patterned, whatever you'd like. Then you need to get six paper rolls and paint them in different colours. So you've got a colourful caterpillar. And then you need to stick it, depending on which order you want them in, onto the card. So you could have it like that, okay, it's depending on what colour you want them at the front. Okay, the easiest way to do it is to use PVA straight onto a paper plate. Okay, and it will gradually go bigger, like so. Let's move it around a bit. And then what you can do is just put your tubes straight in. I'm going to have a red at the front, I think. So get your paper tube and just dab it into the glue. Make sure you've got quite a bit on. And then stick it straight to the card. Okay, it shouldn't take long to set. But if you leave it, it will definitely do it. I'm going to go for blue. I'm going to put him not quite behind him. I want him to be over a bit. And while they are setting, you could use a... paper clip just to hold them in place like that. Okay, then we got purple next. And I'm gonna have him going a bit that way this time. I don't want him to be in a straight line, I want him to look like he's moving. So I'm gonna paper clip there just to hold it in place. And green next. take these off once it's set especially when I'm doing this outside the wind blows them over they'll take longer to set whereas with a paper clip they should stay where they are actually got plenty of glue on the bottom I'll that one this way a little bit and another paper clip okay and the last one These are great to have on your desk if you have a desk in your house for you to do your learning on or for you to just bring down so you can just carry the whole thing with you. You can cut this bottom bit into a shape if you want to. So you could use green and have it as though your caterpillar is sat on a leaf but just to show you how to do it, well that's basically how it is. You're going to have to leave that for a little while so it can set. Okay, but while it is setting, because they're all stuck together with your um, paper clips, you can decorate the tubes if you want to and get your caterpillar's face ready. Okay, so his face is going to go at the front there, so I'm going to give him some googly eyes. And here's my googly eyes. Okay, and I'm going to stick going to give him some eyelashes. Give him some fringe. Okay, and I'm giving a smiley mouth. I'm going to use pink like that. Oh, I'm going to use the thick, thicker tipped one. Oh, lovely. Nice friendly caterpillar. And then what you could do is give your caterpillar some feedlets. 
And I've got some, I've got a strip of some paper. I think I'm going to use orange to go with her eyelashes. And get your scissors. And I'll cut a straight bit off. This is some of the strips I've had left over from one of my videos when I was doing the paper weaving on the fish. I always say never waste anything, it'll always come in. Now you can use your hands so you can do your little curl. Oops. For his feelers. At the front. Like so. All you need to do is stick them on the back. I've got a glue stick. Use that. Oh, not that one. We need to start throwing the ones away that I've used, right? Look at that. Got some busy birds in my garden today. Might be able to hear them. Okay, and then you turn him to the front, or her to the front, and you need to stick it on. I'm going to use a bit of tape. There's a bit of double sided so it stays on while I'm demonstrating this for you and then I'll glue it properly at the end I can find the end of my tape it's definitely here somewhere there we go I'm gonna roll that around on the sticky side so that it makes it nice and sticky and then I can put that where I want the middle of her head to be on the front and then as you can see it is actually it's beginning to stick really well can you see lifting it up and it is stuck so once that has set which like I say won't take long you can take these off but while we're decorating it I'm gonna leave them on so I've got some stars and what I'm going to do is decorate my tubes with some star shapes. Now you could use flowers, you could use spots, anything you like, just to give your caterpillar a bit of a glam look. Use gems, sequins, just gives your tubes a bit more finish on them. I've got a big one there. I'll put that on the back one. Like I say, you just keep decorating it until it's finished. These are really nice stickers as well. I'll put one on there. And I'm going to get another one. Get solid, more of a solid one. It just makes it. Just makes your caterpillar look more exciting to put your pencils in. Obviously you decorate both sides, but I'm just going to show you on this one how I'm making it. Now I like to do a lot of painting and I like to do a lot of drawing and I like to do a lot of crafting. Not only making children's crafts but adult crafts too. So this is going to be great on my craft table I can put my watercolour pencils in one, I can put some pens in another, I can put my inks in the other, paint brushes, scissors and my glue. There you go, perfect, perfect for all of your crafting bits. Okay so there's our crafty caterpillar. Hope you've enjoyed making this with me Mrs B's and take care and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to send me in your makes to Mrs B's 
artsandcrafts at gmail.com and I'd love to see your caterpillars too. Take care, see you again soon. Bye-bye.